Hi guys, in this one we are going to talk about context processors and this is very important because we need to have a solution for displaying the avatar as well as the number of received invites. And we can't do it directly from the views because our views refer to a certain template and as you can see this is placed in the navbar. So we have to use some kind of a different solution and this different solution are context processors. And this is basically just a simple interface that takes in as an argument a HTTP request object and returns a dictionary that gets um, added to, to, to the template context. Each contact processor, this is very important, has to return a dictionary and then it can be used in all the templates of our project, okay? So right now over here, um, this is a ready solution, but before we had only the username. And with the username, there was no problem. We just needed to add request.user and we, can use, we could use this username. But with the avatar and with the received invites, this is not the case. We need to do it with the use of context processors and I'll show you how to do it right now. All right guys, so let's first take care of the profile picture so we can see an avatar next to our user. Okay, so in order to do that, we need to head over to Visual Studio Code, find our profiles application, and inside we are going to create another file called context processors.py, okay? And then we will begin from the import, so from .models, we want to import the profile, profile, okay? And now we need to create a function. I'm going to call it profile pick, and this takes in a request. So we will begin by checking if the user is logged in. So if request user is authenticated, then we are going to grab the profile object. So I'm going to write down profile obj is going to be equal profile objects get where the user is equal to the request dot user all right so now we can define a pick variable where the pick variable will be profile and then um, profile obj sorry profile obj and then we need to refer to the proper field avatar because here we have our profile object. If we head over to the models, um, we need to find the profile class. And as you can see here, we have avatar. Okay, so we are referring to the avatar. So let's go back to context processors. And we need to return, in this case, a dictionary, as you know. And I'm just going to set this to picture and we will need to refer in the template uh, by the key, okay, so we will refer by the picture and we are going to assign to the picture this pick Okay, and then if the request user is not authenticated, we also need to return a dictionary But this time it will be an empty dictionary Okay, so we can save this and now we need to find our settings py file and we need to find um, context processors inside templates. We have options, context processors, and below we can register the new one. So we need to refer to the profiles because this is the application name. Then we need to refer to the file, context processors, and then the name of the function. So the name of the function was, I think, profile pick. Okay, and this will mean that right now the context processor is registered. So we can save settings py and we can head over to the navbar and we need to find the path to my profile. So let's do it very quickly. Path to my profile, okay. So here we can add an image, emg src and we need to refer to the picture url. Okay, and we can set up a class is equal and then we can use uh, the, the classes from the semantic UI. So let's put an avatar image. Okay, so 
Um, let's also add some spacing. And this should do the trick. So let's check it out. I'm going to save this. Hit refresh. And there is our profile picture. So this is working. And if I decide to go to all profiles, I still see this profile picture, okay? Because it's in the navbar. And with the send invites, yeah, we have to do something. Maybe I'll I'll give you a homework so you can try it out by your own. And then I'll prepare a ready code because we already uh, did the similar things with all the profiles and received invites. But uh, yeah, I'll think about it. So now having this profile picture, let's get the number of received invites, all right? So maybe first of all, let's go to the site administration. Let's create another user. I'm going just to put in new user. I'm going to set up a password. Um, of course, new user like this. Okay, save and save. And then let's go to uh, relationships and we are going to create a relationship where the sender will be the new user, the receiver will be me and the status will be sent. So let's save it. Let's go back, refresh. And here we have an invitation. So right now we should see some kind of a batch with one invitation. Okay, so yeah, let's go back to context processors. So this file that we created just a second ago and below we will create another function, maybe invitations received number, something like this. This also, of course, takes in a request. And here we will also begin from if request is authenticated. Okay, and we will this time not only need the profile, but we will also need the relationship. So the profile actually um, I can grab from here. And then we need to refer, we need to get the count of invitations of this particular profile so here let's call this actually qs maybe count and then here we need to put in relationship objects and let's take a look at models py file um, let's take a look at the relationship manager and here we have invitations received okay so we are going to refer to the invitations received We are going to pass in our profile object because over here this invitation uh, invitations received expects a receiver and the receiver will be our profile so let's do it right now invitations received and let's pass in the profile obj and let's count this count and then over here we need to return a dictionary and I'm just going to put in as a key invites num and I'm going to assign to invites num this QS count variable. And then if request user is authenticated is not the case, we are going to again return an empty dictionary. So now what do we need to do is to head over to the settings py file and to register this so I'm, I'm going to add a comma copy this part and then actually i'm going to go back because i forgot how we named this invitations received and i'm just going to copy this and put it into the settings okay so finally we need to go to the navbar where is navbar? Okay, I'm going to find it over here very quickly. Navbar. And let's find received invites. And here let's add some spacing. 
and let's add a div with a class again we will use the semantic ui framework for this ui purple horizontal label and here we just need to put in invites num okay and then let's close it off let's save it let's hit refresh and what do you know we have a received invites one and then if i accept the invite we have received invites zero okay guys so i think this is it for this part it was pretty short and hopefully easy uh, hope to see you again soon have a great day and bye bye